Now, a person will need to know um, to see whether they have they have moved through the process of grief, and then they can be able to figure out their emotions. How are you feeling? How are you thinking? before you allow yourself to attach to another person because what we are fe we are we are seeing a lot is that people are getting married before they have healed and then they are transferring they are transferring um, emotions and thoughts and expectations they had in their previous relationship to this new relationship. And so there are people who will remarry, but they are still thinking that they have their old wife. So th that's what we normally call now you have rebounded. Yeah. So you haven't healed. So the t telltale signs that you are ready is when you are able to look at this person that you have in your life, you are dating and all that, and you are not calling her your departed or your wife's name your your departed wife's name or your departed husband's name the time if you if uh, you, you will know that you are not ready if they do something and you get really upset and then you realize it's because of what your your departed one used to do and they are doing it different it's when you they they cook and then the food doesn't taste like the way uh, your ex-wife used to, uh, I mean, your departed, your deceased wife uh, used to cook and you mention and you really get, and then later on you are asking yourself, what was that about? So what am I saying? I'm saying that if you go through a process of, of uh, counseling, then you can really get in touch with yourself because then you will not be saying, why did I get so upset? No, you know. You know it's because uh, that, uh, th that whatever it was that this person you are dating did caused you to, to relieve what you used to, to do with, with uh, the, the partner that you had. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is when you get, um, uh, when you, you insist on them doing something a certain way and you get really upset if they don't. These are the, the telltale signs, I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to move on. I need, I need a process in which I am, I am past that. The other thing, if you are having a lot of dreams about your departed uh, partner, uh, you do need to know that your brain is trying to process. So allow yourself to write. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to go to a counselor, you can do journaling. You can write them letters of, uh, of uh, accepting that they have been gone. You can write uh, journals about how much you are feeling. Look at the grief process and say, today I, I was in the beginning stage so much today there were so many questions and write them out mm -hmm. and then continue because that will help you to continue to go through the process of grief to so that you can get to the place where you start to thrive because mm -hmm. now your mind is shifting from from mourning into actually living with the grief mm -hmm. so you have already accepted they are never coming back mm -hmm. and now i'm living with the grief there is also other other signs like mental health signs that uh, you are not okay so you have a short fuse usually you are a calm person but now you uh, whenever the, maybe it's the children whenever they they do something you are overly sensitive to to anything you are reacting a lot then there is withdrawing you feel a lot of shame going to church because you don't want people to start telling you oh sorry how are you guys doing when so you start to avoid you start to avoid spaces where you think people are going to uh, to ask you how you are doing now there are people who uh, we might call them the personality of the cholerics the the people who are type a's they don't like for people to feel sorry for them and so you will find that uh, if you find yourself avoiding people or getting mad when people getting angry when somebody says oh how are you doing how are you coping and you feel mad instead of you know kind of seeing it's, it's that yeah question. that they are they are being caring and compassionate but you get angry then you know i'm not okay 